Hello everyone, this is my exhibition at Bishop's Castle Town Hall. Bishop's Castle, for those of you who don't know, is just on the English side of the Welsh border um, in Shropshire. And the Town Hall is a beautiful old building. And upstairs, you can see it's, uh, well, you can see all the fittings for the Town Hall. And every month they have an exhibition. And this month I am here. So I'll just introduce you to some of my work. Probably about 85% of it is done within or inspired by within 10 miles, 15 miles of here. So, and then also some inspiration from some of my favourite artists. So, for example, this is a piece by, can I pronounce her name? Inspired by Helene Scherfbeck, who was Finnish. And this is my take on Wenlock Priory, which is a lovely uh, priory ruin not too far from here. So we've then got some inspiration from Cezanne. Actually, this, this line here is all sort of inspired by French work. And then that's a little lino print and watercolour from when I stayed in Briançon. And there's lots of versions of this, different colour ways that you can get. Then we've got um, inspired by uh, Owen Bowen, The Wayside, inspired by Jericho, Storm Over the Medusa, and then we've got kind of wild winter woodland. So next we've got Tea Bay in the winter, Shropshire Barn, and Caer Caradoc, which is one of my favourite little hills, or big hills. And then we've got a couple of Shropshire places, some old barns and Willow Street in Oswestry, Street. And in between, we've got inspired by Kandinsky. And over here, we've got the gate with lots of bright colours. And then inspired by Nolder, who's another one of my favourite artists. And then a sort of impression of Spring Blossom. And this is based on where I camp in the woods near Lower Vessens, so we've got a winter sunset and then another sunset. And over here, I think some of you have seen this before, um, inspired by the sunflower fields at Kerry Vale, which is just into Wales, over the border. Just amazing sunflowers. Got lots of tinted lino prints for sale, so they're all individually. Uh, if I lift them up, you can see they're all different colourways. So there's no excuse for not finding one that you really like. And then over here we've got lots of nice, I'll zoom in and go through. So if you see something you'd like, just drop me a line and then I can give you, well, I'll probably put on here the town hall phone number. You can always pay for it online and I can bring it to you if you don't, if you live in Gloucestershire. Or if you don't, you can organise your own trip, perhaps. So... Lots of more here. That's Mitchell's Fold, which is an amazing stone circle not far from here. Lots of lovely, colourful stuff. And things that are more muted. As you can see, trees, sunsets, um, landscape. Oh, good, let me zoom out on that one. There we are. That's a nice, abstracted, textured one. And then here we've got... Got some mixed media watercolour and ink. And then here, yeah, this is inspired by, by Cezanne, but also inspired by Walking Up the Long Mint. And here we've got some kind of wild uh, ones inspired by uh, my camping in the woodland. Over here, Walking in the Shropshire Hills and Wild Pear and Gorse in Flower. And then walking in some pine woodland. There's quite a lot of pine around here, quite a lot of acidic soil, particularly where there used to be uh, mining. And then we've got two gouaches, this one and that one. So that this one's autumn fields and the moon rises, makes a nice pair. And then we've got a mixed media, the gate. You can see I'm a little bit obsessed with gates as well. And then this is actually based on a beautiful bit of... Um, landscape near Tetbury in Gloucestershire. Um, and then over here, this is actually the river where I try and swim. Uh, we'll go for a dip in near Kemble, the, the River Thames. 
And this is, again, the hill that's behind the woods where I camp. And then over here, we've got two inspired by other artists. We've got this sunset inspired by Tom Thompson, who was a Canadian artist. Love his work, very expressionistic, really. He was always out camping and canoeing and kayaking in the wilds. And this is inspired by Peter Doig, another artist I really admire. And it's actually sunset on the ski slope. So covers a few things I like, trees, snow, sunsets, hills. And up here, oh, I don't know what's happened. There we are. We've got, this is a mixed media one. It's lino print, mono print, paint and ink. It's like a real mix. Sorry, the reflections of the windows. And here, moon in the woods. It was, uh, I was camping and it was just incredible. The sky was this purple, black, blue and the moon came up through the trees. And there's a little watercolour lake using some lovely Rockwell watercolours, which I love. OK, and then over here, we've got... I don't know if you can see that. We've got a sunrise over a lake. And then we've got wandering in the long, on Long Mind. So Long Mind, some of you all know, is this amazing kind of backbone that goes, cuts across um, Shropshire, near, you can easily get up from Church Stratton, beautiful walks, high landscape, well worth a visit. So we've also, just so you know, we've got, post, we've got greeting cards for sale, and you can also buy greeting cards on my website. We've got lots and lots of original paintings and prints and things that you can just take home on the day. Um, You'll sort of recognise some of them, I'm sure. We've got two sections of that. There's another, another one over there. And we've also got these. These are lino prints with watercolour tinting. And so each one is unique. I think I've already told you about that. So we've got a little fir tree design, got a little woodland design. So it's a bit out of focus. Can't get it into focus. Focus, focus. There we are. Reindeer, um, lake, uh, pen, and then also the walking in Brio and so on. Um, you can see information about all of these on my website as well www.catherinejonesart.co.uk. Do take a look. Okay, and that's it for now. But there you are. That should be a really bright and cheerful exhibition. Uh, uh, Thanks for watching.